neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Mississippi State is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Looks to the back and can't connect. He caught it, but failed to get that one necessary foot in. That's an outstanding catch, and he just missed making a big-time play. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There's a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the Booth Review is a great thing for college football. He's into the open field. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. So the run goes for a big first down. The offensive line opened up some nice lanes to run through as well. Nice play. The 37 yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Nice run there. Gets it. He's in space. He goes out of bounds at the 46. He punts. No, he won't. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. He's taken down right around the 44-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. And down he goes at the 41. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he's taken down around the 30-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Tough throw on the run and caught. And he's tackled around the 27-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. They'll bring him down right around the 20. They get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver past the sticks and get in the ball? That was a great throw. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Brought down around the 19-yard line. From the 19-yard line, second down. Steps out of bounds around the 14-yard line. He gets hit out of bounds at the five. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. And a 
quick throw. And they make the stop at the two. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start. Offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. We've got second and goal. Ball on the seven. Touchdown, Bulldogs. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 47-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 7-0. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Mississippi State's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, Get your offense out there. They move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's hit immediately. Well, that's a big-time play there, and as a quarterback, you're willing to take certain chances with certain wide receivers. It's, you're not going to put the ball in the coverage like that very often, but if you have confidence and trust, and you've worked out a lot with that wide receiver, you know what his abilities are, and you know that you have confidence that he's going to be able to come down, regardless of putting it up in traffic, you're willing to take that chance, and that time it's exactly what we saw. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. He's going to air it long. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Scrambling around. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. He scrambled, but he didn't get much. Brad, this defense reacts too quickly for a scramble like that to work. He needs to spread them out a little bit more to try to create more room to run. He's going to go for the home run. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. First and 10. Ball in the 29. Mississippi State is up by a touchdown. more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. Fires it quickly. It's broken up. This is a well-prepared defense. They know where to be, and they know what their opponent likes to do. They play tight coverage as well. From the 24-yard line. It's second down. Tackle right around the 16-yard line. That's a team. it out to maybe the 16-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line deep. And they don't get 
the first. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. Well, they're already playing from behind the eight ball, but they have plenty of time to get back in this thing. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Nice catch. First down. He's knocked out. Offense lines up in a five-wide set and a defense anticipating pass here. Throws it in a hurry. Inside the 30. To the 10. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the five-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. hit and taken down so at the end of one Mississippi State leads it 7-0 and we're back for more action here in quarter number two they come out in a five wide set touchdown Longhorns The extra point to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Gets out to around the 48. That makes it first and ten. Throws it deep. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Wants to go long and does. He goes up, picked off. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. From the 47-yard line, first down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's taken down at the 31. to his receiver, and he hits him hard at the 21-yard line. Lost the ball. Football. They'll get him for a loss. So the offense is very lucky to keep possession of the ball. I think he was looking upfield and trying to look for some room to run, but he forgot about the football.
And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. First and 10, ball on the 19. Red two, last three, four, Gains his way to the 10 yard line. it up the middle for a nice run. And down he goes around the three-yard line. football in his hands near the end zone and he showed you why right there and he adds the extra point Texas lines up for the kickoff and he got all of this one great kick and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback Here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. third down. a play fake going long well you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers so that was a really good effort and once again they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down delivers to the halfback on the screen and he tackles him hard at the 42 yard line take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. Well, at least for now, the crisis was averted and they keep control of the ball. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Texas is up seven. Gets out to around the 28. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 28. Five wide. Four. 
There's a strike complete. Good open field tackle. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. The Longhorns will use their first time out of the half. Hands it to the back. And he's stopped behind the line. Good tackle there in space. And this play is number eight on the drive. play the timing was just off that's gonna happen sometimes Texas is up a score and down he goes at the 30-yard line momentum swings have been fairly even and with so little separation this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays Open field. He's knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Flips it middle to the running back. Brought down around the 36-yard line. shot the defender tips it away excellent series by this defense forcing them to go three and out and the offense really struggled on this drive they're gonna have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys he gets it away and this is a really nice punt he's tackled at the 26 yard line in a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Tackled after decent pickup. The Longhorns use their second timeout. They're about four yards away here on second down. Here's the halfback. They'll bring him down at the 34. He wants it all going long. And he holds in the deep pass to the 20. And they push him out at the one-yard line. We've played a half. Texas leads 14-7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this, this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackling. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays. And when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's. That's how you see dominant defenses year in and year out, and, and that's what we're seeing today. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herbstreet's first point of analysis will be? 
Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. <laughs> Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese Davids, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Longhorns continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled around the 28-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. Nice play fake. Nearly intercepted. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Texas is up by a touchdown. Has some daylight. He's out to the 30. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 39-yard line. stop at around the 48 yard line the delay gave the back some room to run and he was able to pick up about nine yards slings it tackle made at the 20 yard line receiver. Tackle at the one. Touchdown, Longhorns. Good vision here by the quarterback and a good understanding of where he was on the field. He didn't need much, and he knew he could get it himself. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The Longhorns had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's taken down around the 39-yard line. Here's an opening. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That brings him second and nine. He has some room. He's at the 40, and he's level at the 38. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision.
gets it out to him again. And down he goes. Right around the 26-yard line. Second and ten. Ball on the 26. Mike three. Mike three. Let's go. Ah! They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. the 27 and the screen pass goes nowhere so the kicker comes out he'll try to put three points on the board he gets it up and it's long enough no good he missed it to the right this offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there let's see if they can do the same thing here this quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against his defense. He makes it out to midfield. From the 40-yard line, it's second down. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. It and he's looking for more. And he's taken down at the 50-yard line. Short over the middle. And he's tackled around the 42-yard line. He makes his way to about the 32. He's got it with room to run. He's brought down in the open field. Number 23 on the
on the delay. Gets to about the 27-yard line. And a quick throw. Brought down around the 26-yard line. The Longhorns lose one of their key players with that injury earlier. Still in the locker room. We don't know the severity, but unlikely that he'll play any more football this afternoon. So with one quarter remaining, the Longhorns lead 21-7. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Roger, Roger. Mike three, Mike They'll line up with five wide receivers. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. tries to buy some time and they bring him down for a sack on the play the smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship a quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen but after that play and that hit you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation and now he's got room to run. He makes his way out to about the nine. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down at the eight-yard line. Fourth down, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Worked for him last time. They'll spread the field with five wide. Under pressure, and he is drilled at the 17-yard line. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Makes it to the 27. Gets out to around the 35. He throws it. This one will fall incomplete. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. Well, if this defense keeps taking chances with these blitzes, sure, they may get to the quarterback once in a while, but they also are giving up some big plays like that one right there. Fires it out. Here he goes after the missed tackle. And he's finally shoved out at the 11-yard line. Five wide. around the five-yard line. And they'll bring him down behind the line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Just under three to go in regulation. the 
inside. Gets to about the five yard line. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. That's a good feeling for the kicker and his teammates to know he's put this game out of reach. Texas is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Quick strike to the back, no good. From their own 25-yard line, second down. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. Just under two minutes in the game. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Four yards on that play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. He's going to go for the home run. Incomplete. Third down and six yards to go. Ball on their own 41. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. They get nice yardage on that run. From the 36-yard line, second down. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.